Welcome. A large part of your time is going to be spent on selecting layers. I'm here to help you better understand this process and improve it with some essential tips. The canvas and the layers panel are permanently connected. They're not two separate areas, even though they might seem like it. When you select a layer or a group in one location, that's mirrored on the other side. So for your work, there's no distinction between selecting something on the canvas or in the layers panel. That's because it's the same thing. The approach may be different, as you're about to see, but there's never the question, did Chris say select it from the canvas or the layers panel? And that's because it does the same thing. How you want to do it is up to you. So let me show you some great options regarding selecting layers and groups. First, we'll cover the layers panel. If you click on anything here, that's going to be selected. I have my move tool active, so that means I can move it around. I can switch to another group, say the eyeglasses, and now I can work on that. Simple stuff. If I want to select several items in my layers panel, I can hold down the control key. Now as I click, all these folders are highlighted, which means they're selected. Moving over the canvas, I can click and drag, and you can see they're floating about. I'll always undo with control Z. That's not something I'll constantly mention. If the project is huge, I can select all these layers and folders with control Alt A. Now as you see, everything is highlighted. In general, this isn't going to be useful, but here's the twist. Now I can hold Control and I can deselect some specific groups. So I can delete these or do whatever I want with them, and I'm going to be left with the unselected ones. Great stuff. Now, if you have a bunch of items selected and you don't want that anymore, there are two main options. You either click somewhere else in the Layers panel, specifically this empty region at the bottom, now nothing is highlighted. Let me select some more so I can show you the alternative. What I do in my everyday work is I click on any random group or layer without any modifier key and I'm done. That's because you lose all those selected groups if you click on one individual layer or folder without holding down your control key. I still have a bunch of tips, but don't worry, you don't have to memorize them. We'll use them throughout this course. Plus, I'll attach a cheat sheet to this lecture so you can take a quick look to refresh your memory. You can also use Shift to select a bunch of layers or folders fast. Here's how I personally use it. I left click on any folder, no other key is pressed. Now I'll hold down Shift and I'll click on another one. Notice how all the groups in between the two are now selected as well. The real magic comes from combining all these tips into your workflow. This Shift technique is really helpful when you open one of these groups, say the first heart folder. As you see, it's made out of lots of layers. In case I want to select all of them except its shadow, Shift will help me out. I'll get the top layer, I'll hold down Shift, and now I'll click on the bottom one. Fantastic! Or since there's only a few of them, I could hold down Control and click on each one of them. It's up to you. The following hotkey is intended for people who want to work a lot with their keyboard. If you want to select another layer in the Layers panel without using your mouse, you can hold down Alt and use your square bracket keys. Say I'm on the text layer. If I hold Alt and tap my left bracket key, the highlight will move to the folder underneath and it will also expand it. If I press again, I'll now select the first layer from this group. So that's Alt combined with the square bracket keys. So far, we've talked about the Layers panel. Now let's see how we can select layers or folders directly from the canvas. In general, this is how I advise you to work. This is a considerably large PSD. If I want to select this particular heart necklace thingy, I have to drill through four different groups. I want to avoid all that trouble. Here's what you can do. Make sure you're on the Move tool. Next, hold Control and click on it directly on the canvas. Notice it's now selected in the Layers panel and you can now identify its folder. This is how you should work most of the time. Keep your mouse on the canvas and use the control key to quickly select this or that layer. In case you're having a different experience in CC 2017, you may want to look at your options bar. Here by default in this newest release, you have auto select turned on. That means every time you click on anything on the canvas, that becomes selected. So this eliminates the need for the control key. It may sound helpful, but I know very few professionals that use this option. That's because it does more harm than good. My advice, uncheck it if you have it activated. This drop down also allows us to modify its behavior. Here I have it set to layer. 
This means that if I click anywhere, Photoshop will show me exactly that specific layer. If I change it to Group, even though Auto Select is unchecked, it will still work. Please note that I'm trying to select this heart folder. I'll click on it, but if you look at the Layers panel, you'll see Photoshop selected the Objects Here group instead. That's because this command only looks at top level folders. Our heart is nested inside, it's a level 2 group, so Photoshop doesn't allow me to target it with the control click technique. For that reason, I suggest you switch back to Layer. Now, if everything is closed and I click it, I'll be able to quickly identify its folder. Still on selecting layers from the canvas, I have one easy technique that's foolproof. You hover over your layer and you right click it. The indented items are layers, while these two are folders. In general, I don't recommend this option and let me show you why. If we right click over the perfume, look at this list. Even if you label your layers correctly, this is still a challenge. Finally, even though we haven't covered locking layers, I'll do the following. I'll click on the background folder and I'll lock it by using this icon. I'll hide the effects folder too. Now, while I'm holding down the control key, I'll drag across my canvas and anything inside this shape will get selected. I'm not letting go so you can see how a bunch of layers and folders are lighting up in the layers panel. As I select other areas, this is reflected in this panel. This is helpful when you have tons of layers scattered everywhere. By using this method, you avoid looking for them one by one. Please remember this technique, as it's one of my favourites. And that's how you select layers or folders inside Photoshop. Please watch this lecture again and work alongside me. Pause frequently and try each technique out. Even though there are a lot of options, you'll most likely have one or two favourites. Go and find out what they are. Have fun!